Okay, everyone. How's it going today? Um, I had somebody ask me about how to install a tension grip onto the bike. How, how do I do it? Well, I thought it was fairly self-explanatory, but I suppose not, you know, if you've never done it before or whatever. Um, so I like to take tension grip, put it on there. This is one inch pipe. This is a, a one inch size tension grip. You can use this one on like an inch and a quarter, like 120 PSI. It's a little tough to get this on the 140. Um, some people cut this at an angle to help. I don't find that I need that. Um, so you just kind of start it on there like that, right? And as you're pushing it down on, it opens up here because it's, you know, Chinese finger, right? Slides down in. It's kind of like mounting a tire, I suppose. You know, you got to take your time. And this last little bit, get that tag out of there. See that? Take that clamp out of my hand too. So that last little bit right here, sometimes getting it through there can be a little tight. Just the way that these cables are, are wrapped on here. That's kind of like a, a tight spot. So if you just, you just got to hold this end and kind of, you can see that, see how that opens up like that. It fits right through, right? So you just hold on to this end and it'll pop. See that, how it swells. And then when you let go of this end, you can kind of work it back down in there because each one of these, each one of these pieces of cable on here are wound in each other. So, you know, they, they spring like that, right? So this is a used one, but you'd want this to be on top most of the time with what you're doing, right? Cause your, your wire is going to be up here and you tie around your end and, and you have a, that's why this has the shape in it. Cause um, this was actually a different way, but anyways, it was this way. So this was, this had a clamp on it just like this, but you, you want, you know, you want, you want it to try to pull from the top a little bit if you can. So it's in line with your wire for sure. You don't want to be, you know, sideways or, or twisted or anything like that. Cause it'll, it'll, it'll just want to, it just want to twist on the pipe. It won't keep the pipe nice and straight. So you really want these to be, you know, in line parallel with the pipe or above it like that. And then if you need to um, pull on the pipe, you know, you see so you got it in the finger and you want to pull on the pipe. You just, you just got to relieve some of that tension that's holding, right? So you go like that and, and you can see I can push the pipe right through, right? Chinese finger. Maybe you played with them when you were a kid, maybe not. Right? It's just a big snake. And once you get that straightened out, like so, then it'll hold. Now, this these tension grips are not designed to be on something hard like this. Hard plastic. Okay? They are really designed for wire, is what they're really designed for. A coated wire. Um, something with a rubber grippy type on it. So, so I had the clamp in my hand. I strongly recommend that you put a clamp on here. Oh, I have to back it off. Or I have the wrong size. So you can see the end, the end on this will kind of be like flared out a little bit. No big deal. You can kind of just work the clamp over it, right? Work the clamp over it. Okay, perfect. I like to have the clamp, oh, an inch or so, inch and a half, even two inches from the end, okay? And you don't need to, you don't need to clamp it down so that the pipe is collapsing. That's what you don't need to do, right? We want it to be a full one inch inside, but you could easily do that. You could easily clamp this down and have it be too tight. You really just need to snug fit it. And I don't have a tool in my pouch right this second, but anyways, you just, an inch or so right there and just snug that up a little bit and now it really helps this grip into that so you're probably asking yourself well, why would i do all that buy this expensive piece if i still got to put a clamp on it well 
it's insurance basically the clamp is insurance will this hold this pipe in most cases yes but when you get a tree big hit on it with a tree and it pulls it it'll pull it it will stretch it out of there and it'll rip it off your fitting or whatever so i strongly recommend strongly recommend this clamp and that'll that'll solve all that issue now again okay why would i use this expensive part when i can when i can use you know a piece of mainline cut in half with two clamps on it or some string or whatever um because this holds it nice and straight and nice and sturdy when the tree does hit it it continues to hold it so you don't get any type of stretch stretching or flexing or slipping um if you've ever dealt with a pipe that you know is snaked like this all throughout the woods on your wire it's all snaked and hanging like this on your wire because it got pulled you know from a from an injury i like to call it injury from a tree injury or something like that and it gets pulled and then you try to hook come along onto it and pull it back and it's, it's the, the, the wire ties won't move it just it's a nightmare right it's a nightmare so don't do that don't do that use a tension grip or something like a tension grip um again there is some variations out there that guys use to be a little cheaper anything you can do to keep it from slipping for sure is 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 key um but i like these things they last a long time this is a used one i couldn't tell you how old this one is it's got a little rust on it but it's a galvanized piece um and and i like the fact that when i'm building something you know i have i can slip it and pull and pull and pull i i don't know i i just think it's what do i know right i'm just a sugar maker but i've been using these for years and i really just recommend them and that's a little tutorial on how to use them why to use them and how to put it on